so fascinating to me. I would be intimidated to come as the audience, to mm. tell you the truth, because I would be. I don't like seeing naked people around other na other, other people. Huh? I, watching you naked with other people would be embarrassing to me rather than just seeing you naked. What's the audience like? Are they a regular comedy audience or there's value added? Yeah. Because they've come for some prurient interest. There's there's mm -hmm. a prurient shock value. interest. Well, well, cuz it's like What are you a law from the 50s <laughs> throwing in prurient interest? <laughs> Who are you Anthony Comstock, man? I, love, I, love <laughs> I think I think Peter's how he phrased the question will tell you everything he needs to know. You're uncomfortable yeah. being in an audience of people who have come to see people yeah. be naked. You're you have layers of therapy. Oh my <laughs> god, yes. Oh my god, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm I I I'm fascinated by who comes to this thing is it the same people who go to the the dining experience where they have the lights off it's like blind dining just let's do it oh i've heard of that i've heard of that yeah so it's it that kind of crowd that's uh, that wants to do a new adventure or is it somebody who really is a comedy audience i think we have a really good mix of audience so we you know at the core the place is uh the place we do the show at is called hacienda which is like a sex positive community space in in bushwick but they throw sex parties that's like that's most of what they do is they throw sex parties and in the same basement, they clear the mattresses and set up 80 chairs for a comedy show instead. Oh boy. So, yeah. so at the core. Hope they're, they're not turning on the black lights down in this place. <laughs> <laughs> they clean. Paper they clean. Down. You imagine? You put paper you down? Imagine? Oh my God. All right. Uh, so, so I think the core audience at first was like the Hacienda crowd. Right. Uh, I partnered with them to produce this show because, you know, like a lot of people go to sex parties or sex workshops or whatever would also be interested in a naked comedy show. Uh, then we started getting some of the nudists uh, because we started allowing the first two rows to be clothing optional. Mm -hmm. So now we have that crowd a bit. And then we got this New York Times piece and, and you know whoever follows the comedians on the show. So then we get a little bit of that crowd in. We get some people, um, you know, fans of my podcast come in. So we've got a mix of like normal comedy audience, um, my listenership, <laughs> and then like generic comedy audience, which is weird. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, how'd you find out about the show? <laughs> Sometimes the dude will be like, I just searched for comedy. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> you search comedy, the seller shows up. Okay, you had to search certain words to find this show right, on right. Eventbrite. <laughs>